Hello, you beautiful souls, and welcome back to Catching Waves Yoga. I know it has been a hot minute since I've actually recorded a yoga video, uh, but that's what we're here to do today. Um, why has it been a minute? Life's just been complicated and crazy and COVID and all of those things. So we'll just leave it at that. I'm going to continue giving you guys, you know, the occasional yoga video, um, some of my thoughts, some of the updates on my own personal health. I'm in a great spot. We just started the school year, so I have like very little voice right now. Um, so the yoga we're going to do today should only be about 20 to 25 minutes and it's going to be a really good one for you to start the day. If you just wake up and you notice your neck is really tight, you're really stiff in your back. Um, this is kind of the go-to protocol that I have been doing, um, most days. So, um, I'm staying up close for a minute and then I'm going to go back to my mat where we've got, uh, Lenny and Finn and obviously the scenery has completely changed because we have, uh, redone our gym. So that is neither here nor there. Uh, so what we're going to do first is you're going to take your fingers into the peace sign and you're going to go right around your collarbone. If you have any sensitivity due to TOS, just have a very gentle presser. You do not need a lot. We're just going to go back and forth a few strokes along that collarbone just to start to wake up your node, your lymph node that is tucked right in there. Uh, because we're going to do some kind of neck massage drainage stuff just to help loosen that up to prepare us for doing the yoga okay go ahead switch sides sit up nice and tall take a deep breath in through your nose exhale let it out okay good so now you're going to take both of your hands keep your elbows pointed down to the ground so that we were not lifting here and you're going to bring them back behind your ears right at the base of your head and do a little circular massage and then drag them down your neck to the center of your collarbone. You're gonna repeat, a little massage, drag down and around, okay? Do that a few more times. Breathing as you go. Trying to relax through your jaw, relax through your neck and your shoulders. And we're just, again, working that lymphatic system, but also giving ourselves a little massage here. The SCM, which is this really big neck, neck muscle here, tends to be really tight and can cause a lot of that compression. At least in my case, it's always <laughs> this guy and my pecs. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of turn our head the opposite way so we can get that SCM to pop out. And you're just going to take your index finger and your thumb and you're going to bring it up towards your jaw here and just a little pressure with a little circular motion on either side. Want to be gentle here, especially if you are in any intense pain. Obviously don't talk while you're doing this. Just focus on those deep breaths. And if it slips out of your hand, that's okay. Just turn your neck, catch that muscle again, and slowly massage down. This doesn't have to take very long. And as you get closer, so down here, as it gets closer to my collarbone, that's where I feel a little more sensitivity. I was going to say pain. It's not painful. It's just sensitive. Okay. So once you reach all the way down to the bottom, we're going to come back to the top. And this time we're just going to slowly turn our head left and right. And if that muscle slips out, just grab it again. We're actively allowing that myofascial tissue to release under our fingers. And work your way all the way down. Big breath in and out. Good. And go the other side, do the exact same thing, focusing on that breath this time. So turning your chin the opposite direction, kind of up on an angle too, so you can really get that muscle. Little circle motions here. Working your way inch by inch all the way down towards that collarbone. Focus on that breathing. Make sure you're sitting up tall. You're not collapsing here in your spine. And again, wherever there is that pressure, you can just hold it for a moment and then release one more right at the base, little circles. Back up to the top, do your left and right. This one feels so good when you're done. All the way down. And then again, just like we did at the beginning, take your fingers all the way behind your ear massage across down to the center. Do like three or four sweeps here. Perfect. Now your skin will get a little bit red. If you need a lotion or something, you're more than welcome to use that. I just washed my face, so I already had some stuff there. 
okay? So the next thing you're gonna do is you're just gonna gently press your fingers right at your collarbone, right? You'll see that it's engaging the SCM that we just grabbed. And then bringing your chin first down to your chest, take a big breath in, look up. Holding it at the top and extending your lower jaw, your chin to the ceiling. Looks kind of crazy, I know. And exhale, bring it back down. You can bring your hands under your chin this time and sweep all the way down as you look up. Continue that a few times, sweeping and looking up, sweeping and looking up. Great. This time you're going to take your right hand, place it onto your left collarbone, just very gentle here. We don't need a lot. And you can bring your opposite hand right on top. And you're going to look up, turn over that right shoulder, and just tilt your head away. So the back of my head is tipping towards the left side of my body. Big breath in. Press that chin towards the wall in front of you. Looks crazy, I know, but we're getting some nice stretching here in the neck. And then go ahead and release, and we're gonna go to the other side. So again, just press gently on top of that collarbone. Other hand holds it in place. Send your head back and over the opposite shoulder, chin to the sky. You can press it out a few times. Good, come back to center, give it a little sweep here. And hopefully even that so far is already feeling a million times better. So we're gonna bring it back to the mat now. Lenny is clearly here to join me. And we're gonna, again, we're just gonna start in that seated position. I'm gonna pull my hair back really quick. So while I do that, you go ahead, close your eyes and focus on taking a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale, let it go through the mouth. Inhale, big breath. Exhale, let it go. Bring your hands right onto your knees, sitting up nice and tall. Relax those shoulders, big breath in. Exhale, let it go. Great job. And bring your hands down to your hips here. We're just gonna lift our shoulders up to the sky, loop them back and around. Do that a few times as we open up through our upper back here. Stretch our shoulders, weigh it all up. And with that next breath, relax your shoulders down. Take a big inhale. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, arms go to the sky, chin goes up. Exhale, bring it down, chin to chest. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, lower. One more in. And out. Great job. We're going to go all the way up this time. And as we exhale, we're going to twist either direction, catching your one hand on your knee, the other one back behind. Look over that back shoulder. Take a big breath in. And out. Make sure you're sitting up nice and tall. Inhale. Exhale. With that next inhale, arms go up. Come back to center. Exhale, twist to the opposite side. Send your head back. Take a big breath in and out. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, arms go up. Exhale, bring them to your heart. Close your eyes, take a breath in and out. Okay, we're gonna bring our hands right onto our knees, tucking those fingertips underneath here. As we inhale, we're gonna bring our body forward, chest comes forward. And as you exhale, chin to chest, roll your spine. So it's going towards the back of the room. Inhale, bring it forward. Exhale, round. Inhale. Exhale. Do two more, in and out. Great. This time we're going to inhale, come forward, and then we're going to start to make a big sweeping motion with our body in either direction. Allow your arms to bend as they need to. Feel any of those areas of sensitivity. Breathe through them. We'll do one more in this direction. And then as you come to the front, we're going to reverse opposite way. Just really focus on that breath. 
We're trying to move through the spine here, waking everything up. Good. Now this one's gonna feel a little strange, but you're gonna go ahead and kind of give yourself a hug here. Just making sure we're sitting up nice and tall. We're gonna lean back until it's too uncomfortable, okay? It's a big breath in. And as we exhale, I want you to take that right shoulder all the way over to the left. And then we're gonna lean it back like we're gonna fall over. And then as we come to the right, bring that left shoulder all the way over in the front. Now this time, it's similar to what we just did, but we're really working that thoracic spine, which with TOS, that's where we typically get stuck, right? So one more this way, and then reverse. Feels weird, like you're gonna fall over. That means you're doing it right. <laughs> Focus on that breathing. Feel your ribs expand. Great job, come back to center here. All right, we're gonna come into our cat-cow position, our tabletop position first. So bring those knees underneath of your hips, your hands directly underneath of your shoulders here. Keep your toes flat onto the ground. You can sink your hips back for this. We're gonna work on stretching through our forearms. So I want you to rotate your fingers towards the outside edges of the mat until they're pointing towards your knees. Press those palms down, spread those fingers wide, take a big inhale. And as you exhale, lean back until you can really feel that opening happening in the underside of your forearm. Focus on that breathing, inhale, exhale. Close your eyes if you need to. Relax your shoulders down in space. Try to keep your palms onto the mat here. Big breath in and out. So you can go ahead and kind of do a modified cat-cow here where we begin to round the back. And then as we inhale, bring it forward. Exhale, round. Inhale, forward. You can do that two more times. Great job. Go ahead and release those palms off the mat. Give them kind of a little spin. You can flex towards your face away and shift your hands side to side whatever feels good. And then when we come back down, we're gonna bring the top side of our hands onto the mat, fingertips pointing towards your knee. And this time I want you to think of rotating that armpit crease to the front wall. It's gonna be a weird feeling. So again, elbow crease rotates to the front wall, sink it back here. And again, now you're gonna feel it on the top side of that forearm. And for me, this one burns. Might not burn for you, that is okay. If it does, breathe through it. Your breath is gonna be your best friend in a lot of these poses. And this may not be accessible for some of you, so if it's not, just go ahead and come down into a child's pose and just take a breath here. If it is accessible, just breathe through it. I tend to rock my body just a little bit side to side. You can do some of those cat cows. Again, those cat cows in this modified position are gonna really work that thoracic spine. One more breath here, in and out. Great, go ahead and sit back up onto your heels here, flex through those hands. And then when you're ready, come back into our tabletop position, this time curling your toes under. Gaze straight down, take a big breath in and out. Next inhale, you're gonna lower your belly down, send your gaze forward, lift your hips to the sky. Press into your hands so you're lifting out of your shoulder blade here. And on an exhale, slow and controlled, move through your spine, rounding your back, tucking your chin into your chest, tucking your tailbone under. Inhale, lengthen, drop your belly. Exhale, round. Inhale. Exhale, one more, in and out. Great, come back into that tabletop position. I want you to bump your hips to the left and look over that right shoulder, focusing on your big inhales. And exhale, let it go. Inhale, bump your hips the other side, look over that opposite shoulder. Exhale, let it go. And then you continue that, shifting one direction and then the other, following with your breath. 
A lot of the times when we have that stuckness in our upper, upper body, we also have that stuckness in our lower body. So we want to support the entire body here. So come back to our neutral position here. Now, if you have any shoulder pain, any issues with uh, going into a downward dog, I want you to just stand up into a mountain pose. Stand there, focus on your breathing. Otherwise, we're gonna come into a downward facing dog, lifting our hips towards the sky, pressing into your hand, focusing on really pressing the index and your thumb pads into the ground here. If you don't have your heels on the ground, that is okay. We'll get there with time. Big breath in, lift your hips to the sky, feeling that stretch through the back side of your legs. Exhale, let it go. Inhale and exhale. Great job. Inhale, bend your knees, look to the front of your mat, slowly walk yourself all the way there. Think, lift your hips and your ribs to the sky, and then we'll make our way all the way to the front. We're gonna exhale all the way, forward fold. Tuck your chin into your chest, Give your little body a shake here, let it go. Inhale, glide your hands up to your thighs, straighten through that upper body, coming into a halfway lift, keeping your chin and chest and neck nice and neutral here. And as you exhale, forward fold. You can have a bend in your knees if you need to, arms come down. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. I want you to go ahead and take your hands to the back side of your neck and just hang here in ragdoll. Close your eyes, relax through your jaw, bend your knees if you need to. One more breath in and out. With this next inhale, we're gonna very slowly begin to stand up. So straightening through the legs, rounding through that lower back, your mid back, your upper back, looping those shoulders up, back and down, and then standing there nice and tall. Big breath in and out. Great, inhale, arms go up if available to you. If not, just bring them in prayer in front. Extend overhead here, and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend those knees, big circle all the way up, slight back bend at the top, and exhale, fold. We're gonna plant your palms down onto the floor, step one foot back and then the other. You can lower down onto your knees if you need to. We're gonna move through our vinyasa, slowly lowering all the way down. Inhale, lifting your head, chin and chest away from the mat, lengthening through your arms, relaxing your shoulders down away from your ears. And as you exhale, open your knees as wide as your mat, send your hips towards the back of your mat, and just relax your forehead down for a breath. Big inhale, and exhale. Next inhale, come back into your tabletop position, curl those toes under, come all the way up into a downward facing dog. Take a breath here, in, out, Bend your knees, step forward, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend those knees, big circle, all the way up. Back bend at the top, and exhale, fold. Why don't you go ahead and bring your fingertips into a tent onto your mat, and you're just gonna step your right foot back. Inhale, shift your front knee forward, your body weight forward, coming into a high lunge. And then exhale, lower that back knee, uncurl those toes, plant your right hand down. Take a big breath in here as we lean those hips forward. Great job. Slow and controlled, I want you to lift that back foot off the ground, bringing it towards your buttocks. You're gonna take your left hand back, catching those toes, and gently, pulling that leg towards your body, getting a really deep quad stretch here. Go as deep as you can, don't force it here, just focus on that breath, big inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And if you're finding you're having a difficult time even reaching your foot, get yourself a belt or a towel and just hold on to it to the best of your ability. And if that's too much with the pressure on your arms, just lift it here and just hold it. 
Okay, one more breath here, in, out. As we exhale, you're gonna release that back foot, bring it down, left hand comes forward, shift your body weight all the way back, extending through that front leg here. Go ahead and lift those toes away from the ground, chin to chest. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift here. Exhale, fold and round. Inhale, lengthen through that upper body. Exhale, round. Inhale, roll through that front foot, planting it on the ground. Curl your back toes under, lift your knee, step forward, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Big circle all the way up, slight back bend at the top. Exhale, fold. Good, bring your fingertips into that little tent. Step the left foot back this time. Shift your body weight forward into your high lunge. Take a breath here. Exhale, lower that back knee down. Uncurl your toes, plant your left palm down. Take a big breath in. And on that exhale, slow and controlled, lift that back leg up. Reach your right arm back behind, trying to catch it at the best of your ability. No forcing anything here. And just focus on that deep breath. Keeping your hand, your right hand, your left hand that's up front, firm onto the ground. We don't want to lift through our knuckles. Really have that hand planted down. Big breath in. Exhale, slowly released. Shift your body weight back, extending through that front leg. Lift those toes. Tuck your chin into your chest. Inhale, lengthen through that upper body. Exhale, round. Inhale. And exhale. One more here. In and out. Great job. Roll through that front foot. Curl your back toes under. Lift your knee. Send it forward. Forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fold. Bend your knees, big circle, all the way up. Slight back bend at the top. And exhale, bring it all the way down. Palm foot, plant those hands. Press it back. And then come into our vinyasa. Slowly lowering all the way down. You can drop to your knees if you need to. Uncurl your toes, lift that upper body. And exhale, send it back. This time, keep your knees in together. So that way we can open up through that lower back a little bit more. Bring your hands down under your shoulders. Forehead to the mat. Take a breath here. And sweep your hands back towards your feet, palms open to the sky, and take another breath. Letting those shoulders round forward. Great job. Bring those hands under your shoulders again. Press that upper body all the way up. So you're sitting up nice and tall. Send your body weight forward. We're going to curl those toes under and then slowly walk your body back so that way you are kind of kneeling onto your heels here. If it's too much pressure, just bring your hips up and away. Focus on that breath here. You got to really make sure we are stretching our feet because again, although we might be having a lot of the stuckness, primarily in our upper body, it's systemic. So if you have stuckness in your feet unaddressed, it's going to create that chain of tension through your entire body. So again, we're going to sit up nice and tall, relax your shoulders down, big belly breath. Exhale, let it go. One more breath here, in and out. Good job. Bring those hands forward, legs go to one side, and you're just going to come onto your bottom here. I'm going to extend my legs forward, pull your buttocks out from either side so we can come onto our sit bones. Sit up nice and tall, flexing those feet towards your nose and slightly rotating those toes outward. Big breath in. And as you exhale, just bring your hands down towards your ankles, keeping your back nice and neutral here. We don't want to round through that upper back. So if you can only be here, that is totally fine. If you can grab the bottoms of your feet without compromising your back, go for it. And just slight bend into your legs, go for it. And I want you to just bring your chin into your chest. Inhale, lengthen, release your hands, sitting up nice and tall. Go ahead, get a little wiggle through your feet. Shift your hips forward, and then we're going to slowly just come all the way down onto our back. 
Extend those arms overhead, extend those legs long, big stretch here. And exhale, let it go. Great. Go ahead and bring your hands down to your side on your belly, whatever is comfortable. And you're gonna walk both of your feet up so your knees are bent. Keep them about hip distance apart. And we're gonna start to windshield wiper our legs back and forth. So again, we're loosening up through our hips here. Focus on your breathing, inhale one way, exhale the other way. And do one more on each side. And then come back into the center. Pull your knees into your chest here. Give them a little tug. I want you to go ahead and just release your right leg down, holding that left knee up. You're going to send your left knee over that right thigh. Extend your left arm back behind you with your palm open to the sky and look towards those left fingers here. Take a big breath in and out. Now we're not gonna stay here any more than like three breaths, but this is a really great pose to open up through your hips, through your back, and definitely through those pecs. So if you're ever feeling like you've got extra tightness, try this one, just come right into this pose and see if you can just stay here for a few minutes on both sides. One more breath here in and out. Great. Go back to center, pull both of your knees into your chest, give them a little tug, and then drop that left leg down, right arm back behind you, palm open to the sky, and send your right leg over the left. Look towards your right fingertips, big breath in, and out. Two more here. Last one. And come back to center, pulling those legs in. Go ahead and relax your feet down. We're just going to close our eyes for a moment. Bring your hands one onto your heart, one onto your belly. Take a big breath in and out. Now you can lay here in a savasana or extend your legs out, your arms out, and just take all the time that you need. But to wrap up this session, we're just going to end it here. So if you really enjoyed this, tell me in the comments. Let me know how you are doing. I've come a long way uh, in the last five years of really healing through uh, having TOS. And most days I forget that I even have it. I really hope that that is where you guys ultimately get to um, in your future because being in pain, being stuck, and also not feeling like you have people that understand what you're going through, whether it is family, friends, your doctors, can be isolating and I get it. So continue to show up for yourself, continue to work through this. And I know it is not easy, it is painful mentally and physically, it is exhausting. And I remember at the beginning, every time I would run into another hill of, oh, why isn't this working? I thought this was going well, but look at me now, I'm five years out. I really have not a lot of issues anymore. So. I really hope that you guys continue on your healing journey and I hope this session helps you. So again, I look forward to our next one. Hopefully it's not gonna be, you know, several years before I post again, but I appreciate you being here. Have a wonderful day. Bye.